This is six kilograms. If you're not familiar, that's like 13.2 pounds. This is 6.8 kilograms. That is, do the math, like 14, 15 pounds. So literally here we have over 28 pounds of food or about 28 pounds of food. Flashback. Well, everybody, we're here at LAX, Los Angeles Airport, flying to Seoul, Korea, to do the biggest, craziest food challenge I have ever tried in my life. And the prize, one million dollars. It's not dollars, but I don't know what the currency is. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna give you the exact details. It's kind of like two food challenges in one. And if we can do it, we're gonna have cash. We're gonna, well, I don't know what we're gonna have. I'm gonna get you details. We're about to fly for 14 hours, 13 and a half hours. This is nuts. First time going to Asia. No clue what to expect. Am I nervous? Yes. Am I not in great shape? Yes. <laughs> is this gonna be crazy? Yes. But hey, at that, let's let this freaking crazy adventure begin. Oh, and by the way, the way it works, I'm literally not going to have a tomorrow. Like I literally go straight from the 28th of the month to the 30th of the month. I don't have a 29th. So let's see what this is all about. All right, so Korean Air, that's what the plane looks like. On our seat, we have old style headphones, water bottle. I don't even know what this is. A something and then a little blanket. So 13 and a half hours, <laughs> here we go, everybody. Super old plane entertainment system, we had a little remote, but we have quite a uh, itinerary of media because a lot of it is like kind of Korean and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And then for uh, entrees or dinners, we had choice of a bip and bop. We had a chicken and rice and a beef dish. I've got the bip and bop is the only Korean dish, like quote unquote, that they advertise Korean. So we also got a uh, chocolate muffin, oranges, um, little uh, kind of peppers or whatever. And then here we have the bip and bop. So what you do is take the rice, and the uh, gochujang sauce, mix all together with the uh, ground beef, the uh, noodles, vegetables, and they have a soy broth as well. So these are really good, it's like a little sweet pickle. Let's try the bibimbap to try a little bit of everything together. Yep. What would you do to become a millionaire? Would you try to eat something very, very, very big? perhaps the biggest, craziest food challenge that you've ever attempted in your life? Well, that's the position we are in. Everybody, we are heading to a place called Obiko Curry. This is located in Seoul, South Korea. There's a variety of locations around. We're gonna be in Gagnam, Gagnam, like literally Gagnam style uh, from like Seoul, South Korea. So the exact details, well, me and my good friend, Mr. Yuno, who is an amazing Korean eater, we basically have to eat two different food challenges. Yes, two challenges together in a team fashion. Each is weighing, well, one is six kilograms, one is like six, over six kilograms. So something we have like, I don't know, 28 pounds of food or something ridiculous, six kilograms is about 13 pounds, something like that. So yeah, crazy. Um, but we are actually eating this in the chance to win one million Korean won and or a thousand million dollars won whatever currency you want to call it and also a million dollar or million won donation to charity so this thing is intense this is crazy give you some more details here but to give you a rundown obiko curry the biggest craziest food challenge ever and we're trying to become a millionaire so who wants to be a millionaire i do let's go eat
All right, everybody, so here we are with the challenges, kind of too, and of course, Mr. Yuno. So, literally, guys, amazing Korean eater. Very thankful to be here with him today. And uh, I don't think I could have a better partner because this is a lot of food, everybody. This is six kilograms. If you're not familiar, that's like 13.2 pounds. This is 6.8 kilograms. That is, do the math, like 14, 15 pounds. So literally here we have over 28 pounds of food or about 28 pounds of food. This is insane. Now it's not just the giant uh, curry mega, jumbo mega curry udon and the jumbo mega curry rice with all the uh, pork cutlets, tonkatsus, we have cheese balls, sausages, karage, shrimp, but we also have 12 poached eggs, a dozen poached eggs, plus this giant serving of again prawns, karage, etc., which normally, which is kind of like for the udon, udon. So long story short, a lot of food. Yeah. Are you hungry? Uh, very hungry. We better be, guys, because this is literally going to push us to the max. But we are literally on the line. We're talking a million, million Korean won. Mm. That is insane so i've never done a million dollar challenge before yes i'm calling this a million dollar challenge because it's close enough um that being said guys we do also have about one hundred and sixty thousand dollars uh or sorry one hundred six thousand korean won sorry i like to use dollars in front of us of food here um so yeah i mean but that being said it looks delicious we have so many like uh we have uh, gingers we have radish ginch which is like a uh, radish as well now this is optional this is kind of like an accompaniment they have a whole bunch of accompaniments um like some of this lovely roasted garlic but we just put it right on because it looks and smells delicious and it is this bear and this bear is their logo so I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, like I said though guys, super, super, super excited to give this a shot. I've never really had items like this, let alone in Korea. So this is my first meal in Korea, man. So hey, at that, looking forward to it. So uh, at that, let's get started here. and say just momentarily. All right, everybody. Well, I think we are ready to rock. I'm ready. You ready to start, my friend? Ah, uh, I'm ready. All right, guys. So I am excited. I'm also super nervous. <laughs> Seriously. I. Had a 13 one hour flight, didn't sleep very well. Oh, I actually, so I had a, a bip and bop on the plane. And let's just say I was up on the toilet all night. It didn't, didn't turn out very good. So I think we're gonna get started here just momentarily, guys. So like you said, 60 minutes, technically two challenges, um, but yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention, not only do you get a 1 million won prize here, but we actually get a 1 million won donation to the local like food bank and our charity. So that's honestly now, that's what I, like we can't fail we can't lose now i didn't realize it was not only a prize and a donation guys heck yeah so we're feeding korea today so at that though um yeah i, I think i went through everything but yeah like spring onions whole bunch of beef um, vegetables potatoes this bowl if you can't tell is absolutely full of noodles like there is no like basically liquid in there it's just full of udon and then obviously this this is all uh, a total of 12 servings each. So 12 orders, 12 orders, insane. And these are shrimps, squids, cheese balls, potatoes, sausages, karage, which is fried chicken. And uh, he does, I don't like cheese. You know, doesn't like squid. So <laughs> teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah. Guess what we're gonna do. That's the teamwork. That being said, I'm totally gonna grab one of these mm. eggs before we start. And I'm gonna put it in this bowl oh. because I am going to dip that freaking katsu right mm. in it. So um, that being said, Yuno is also a professional at eating noodles. They eat a lot more noodles over here in Asia than uh, a lot of us do in North America, or at least I do. And I'm pretty good at eating, we'll say some, you know, meats. I do like to eat animals, joeleats.com. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna start here a little bit. He's gonna start there a little bit, but we'll go back and forth as we please. Cause team challenge guys, which apparently aren't too popular in Korea. Um, so we'll uh, change that today. You'll notice there is a bit of a language barrier, but we have Google Translate if we need it. No, no, Google Translate, no, Samsung Translate. Oh, Samsung Translate, sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry, we're in Korea. Samsung Translate. My, my bad, my bad, we're in Korea, we're in Korea. Samsung Translate, which works better than Google, right? Mm, works yeah. better than Google. Maybe we'll get started. We you say it again, like five, four, oh, wow. three, two. Oh, how do you, how, let's do it in Korean. How do you count down Korean? Oh. Sa, sam, yi, il. Go? Go. All right, one hour starting now. Starting. Let's do it. I'll start with the squid. 
Oh my god! Delicious! This is so good! Mmm, it's delicious! It's delicious! Mmm! Wow! 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 Oh my god. Oh. This is the best freaking curry I've ever had in my life. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That's so mm. good. Mmm. Mm. 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 Wow. Wow. Mm. Oh, blue skin. It's so amazing. Now, cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese balls. Yeah, that is nuts. Look how you mix that up. I have pure noodles, guys. Wow. That is insane. Mm. Well, oh my god. This is so good. Oh, you guys are really good. 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 Oh my gosh, I forgot to even use the egg. <laughs> That's how good that was. You know, tried some uh, pork donkatsu, dippy runny yolk. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see, it's all about. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's too nice of you. Yeah, you know, you gotta try that. I, I tried, tried, tried. Oh my god! Woo! Toshinda? Toshinda? Chom, chomaten. Chomaten. Guys, this is delicious. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here in Seoul, South Korea. Super excited to be doing our first food challenge attempt in Asia, especially in the beautiful country of South Korea. I need to come to Korea more often. The food is that good. So here we are in a Biko curry taking on what is essentially two challenges, like the big rice plate bear thing I have in front of me. For example, this curry challenge is totally available. You can walk in and just like order it. Um, however, what's really cool is they like basically kind of combined two challenges and made the team challenge, hence with the jar, uh, large curry udon as well. <laughs> this looks great. Wow. Well, 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 well. Well, you know, eating some shrimp. I'll eat some shrimp too. Shrimp is very delicious. Oh my god! Mm. Mm. It's crazy. Took some time. Wow, guys, they're just they're, these are big too. And the eggs. Mm. So when it comes to sheer like numbers, these are by far the biggest potential payouts and the biggest costing items I've ever have, you know, kind of attempted, especially when it comes to challenges. So 60 minutes, we were trying to get the meal for free and a 1 million won Korean won prize. And not to mention a 1 million donation also to a uh, basically like a local kind of food bank or charity, we'll call it that. I'm always very passionate about giving back whenever we can, and so the fact that we're able to do uh, this challenge and give back at the same time is great. Are all challenges this delicious in Korea, or is this just amazing? So, with myself and my good friend, Mr. Yuno, I'm an amazing Korean eater, uh, we decided to try to take on this challenge, which is very uncommon in Korea, and let me tell you why. No shortage of food, though. Yum, yum. heads are on the shrimp and I just ate them. I'm not sure I was supposed to, but delicious anyway. So in Korea, they call them mukbang or mukbang challenges. The term food challenge is not used as much as like a mukbang mukbang challenge. They really enjoy like the eating noises, like the slurping um, and kind of a lot of those like oohs and ahs and accents um, to go along with the eating. How's the, you uh, know, uh, maybe 30%. No, is it good? Uh, very good. Very good. You try it. Right. Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. Oh. Let's try it now. This is awesome. I love this freaking curry rice. Mm. Try the 
curry udon. Let's see what it's all about. Yeah, oh, yeah, the ginger, loads of noodles, yeah, spring, spring onion. onions. Ah. Oh, nice and hot too. And so it was super awesome to like almost have like a little bit of like a, even like a cultural experience where it's like obviously, you know, I'm doing my video kind of the way my style, you know, is doing his kind of his style. So it was really cool to kind of see both sides. Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, the beef is really bad. But this is the only team challenge that actually exists in South Korea. I need to work on my Korean level of slurping. They're really, really good at it. I'm not that good, so you'll be try. <laughs> it's just a concept they don't like have over there or don't offer. All the kind of mukbang challenges are generally solo. So this was super cool that we, you know, we're essentially doing the only team challenge in South Korea. And I mean, I've talked lots about the food, but let me just say this honestly was one of the most delicious challenges I have had to memory. At least that I had in a very, very long time. And if this is a representation of food in Korea in general, even though this is Japanese cuisine, man, this is stuff is good. This is good. It's good. So good. Noodles are great. I like me some animals though, so I'm gonna go back to some karate in the meantime. But mm. so good. Yeah, you use Hansung and Hanu Gay Sana. Look, guys, I can say I had some, yeah. some basically kimchi slash radish. Radish kimchi. And Korea. Mm. So good. And what's this area of town called again? Gangnam. 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 Gangnam style, right? In Gangnam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a cool area. Lots of people out and about. Good food here, that's for sure. Mm. Do you want to keep going on this or eat some noodles? I, I try it. Nice. Try the rice? Mix yeah. it up? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Good, good. Holy jump, this is thick. Wow. Yeah. I see why he said mix it up. Mm. Holy jump, it's, this is a, <laughs> that's a brick. <laughs> wow. That is a big, thick bear. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Compliments to the chef. Uh, Ooh. Wow, good, good. So good. Mm. All right. Oh, yeah. Mm. Everybody, nothing go wrong with that curry. Mm. Oh man, so good. Wow. Look at this. Got a big old yeah. proper spoon here. Get all that rice and curry. Hot damn. Yeah. This is delicious. And the onions and the garlic. I feel bad eating the bear. True. He's True. so cute. Mokcharari, wow. <laughs> they Oh my gosh, there's the eggs in here. Oh, so good. Ooh, the yolk. Wow. Everybody just like, yummy. Wow. And you're about to Oh my god. Nine, nine minutes. Nine minutes. Yo. Nine minutes? Yeah. Nine minutes in there, buddy. How do you say amazing in Korean? Taebang. Oh. Was it? Tebakida. Tebakida. Tebak. 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 Yeah. Tebakida. 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 Yes. This yeah. Is so good. good. Amazing. Second bear. Here. This is crazy huge. <laughs> Holy jump, it's, it's like a brick of rice. I like it. Do they eat all, you, is rice in most meals in Korea? Is it very popular? Yeah. Do you want me to save this for you? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to keep going or save it for you? Ah. Ah. Uh, save for me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I've been enjoying this so much, but let's get a lot of these noodles here. Mm -hmm. They are delicious. Love me some curry. Mm -hmm. Especially love that curry rice. Yeah. This udon is pretty fiery as well. You know, udon is my dog's name. Oh, really? Yeah. Your dog's name? Yeah. Uh, ooh, excuse me. No, no, no. Yeah, no. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry, man. I'm making a mess. I'm flinging this all over the place. I just got covered in curry. Don't leave me to play with a big bowl of curry, I guess. Gives me more curry. She brought us more curry. Thank you for the generosity. It's a good way to do it. <laughs> Hands on. Mm. It likes to bogo. Yeah. <laughs> Pop bogo, nice bogo. No rice bogo. Yeah, it's delicious. Ooh, yeah. mm. I tell you, man, these these noodles are heavy. Wow. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Because they absorbed, they're obviously cooked, but they absorbed all like the curry, you know? Ooh, yeah. Some karage. Uh, all that deliciousness, and the uh, the liquid is technically not required in the udon, but I don't think it's possible to the way it's like so thick and soaked it up. I don't think it's really possible to separate it too much, which is all good. It means just more curry, more curry to be eaten. Ooh, yeah. grab one of these uh, one of these eggs maybe. Try it in the udon. You're very eggable. <laughs> I do like the eggs, they're very tasty. I'm getting on a target again, though. No. Mm. <laughs> protein. Lots of protein. Ah, you get it. You get it. You get it. You get it. Wow. A lot of food. Yeah, well, I would definitely. Uh, I don't know. But I'm not hungry anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in here, me and you know, we're both like, oh man, this smells so good, we're so hungry. I'm definitely not hungry anymore, I'll put it out. <laughs> Delicious. And definitely would recommend coming up by and trying to. Normal size portion. A twelfth of this. <laughs> There's lots of abiku curries around, right? Yeah. In Seoul? How many? 100 total of 120 locations. You have 120 locations? Oh my god. There you go. <laughs> you have 120 to visit then. How do you say large? Or it is very big. Ka. What? Ka? Ka. Ka. Trying guys, trying to learn my trying to learn some Korean here. Oh sorry. Right? No, no, no. No, no. Woo! Hold on. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Comments the chef. Woo! It's a, the it's rice a kimchi? Kaktugi. Kaktugi. Kaktugi? Yeah. It's good. Good? Mm -hmm. It's, uh, because like it's, again, like kind of like kimchi ish. It's like very, um, kind of a little bitter. It really wakens up your palate, refreshes it after some 20 some pounds of curry. <laughs> <laughs> Nice thing about this being like in curry, it's already like all liquidy, so I haven't had to use a lot of uh, drinks. It's very, you know, already soft. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we're about to finish off this udon. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. for me. 
Same for you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I can't say that. What do you want me to do? I like it. You like it? No. All right, well, I'm going back here then. <laughs> like I said, anything you want, you can have it. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Teamer makes a dreamer. You're better at eating udon than I am. I feel like I'm slow. Um, I'm also drinking these true lemon trues. These are sparkling water with a little lemon on them. <laughs> it's a nice flavor. Alright. This is what's the potato? Potato curry. Mm. I don't know what's in it besides potatoes, but it's flavored. I thought it was just a potato stand. Mm. Mm. That's very nice. You want it? <laughs> Done. Thank you. Here's your cheese ball. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Here you go. I like the sauce here. 아 이거 진짜 잘 먹는 친구랑 밥 먹으면 이런 느낌이구나. <웃음> Pretty much down to this here. And then two eggs. 음, 뭐야 뭐야? 뭐야 뭐야? 음흠. That's right. Sharon is Karen. 음. You want me to leave any of this or how much? Or just take it. Take that is taken. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Good stuff though. Oh. Can you keep it for me? Yep, you want yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, I'm okay. This? Yeah. More, less? More, more, more. More, okay. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> hey man, there you go. Got a, you don't got an appetite, man. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Right, Thank well, you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey guys, we'll put it that way. As long as we finish, we ain't the only ones getting fed today, which is freaking awesome. What time is it? How many hours have we been? We need 30 minutes. Only 30 minutes. So over 30? Just 23 minutes? Yeah. Alright guys, 23 minutes. We're done with the last eggs. Eggs and curry and rice and... All that stuff, so let's finish this up. Well, if I know better, it sounds like you know once dessert. You have dessert? Yeah. You know. Woo! Man, those onions in here? Oh, good, good. Is that good, or should we finish up? Finish? finish? Like right now? Yeah. Alright, guys, they stop the timer. Might as well take these, you know, we'll clear the plate. Wow. We'll lick it. I'm just kidding. You're going to be 13, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, That was very good. That was really good, everybody. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. About it easy? I don't know about easy, yeah. but delicious. Yeah. Very delicious. Yeah, I and, agree. And, and what I really, again, like, I think. Again, this was, I wouldn't call it easy because this is a ton of food. But I do have to say, like I said, everything being kind of wetted in that curry, it does help it go down a lot. Like I said, I only drank maybe three drinks, guys. I'd probably go, normally go through like eight. And you could just because even the katsus, even though they're still like crunchy, the little bits that were in the curry when you dipped in the curry just like makes it so warm and melty and delicious. But what was the final time you guys got? 23 minutes and 49 seconds, something like that. I guess I was counting down. But man, that was so good. That was really, really good. Obiko curry, everybody. Seoul, South Korea. 100% would recommend. Oh. What'd you think, man? Hmm? Did you like it? Yeah. Good? Good. Uh, I, I didn't say. We gotta get our Samsung Translate here. Yes. Uh, uh. So, you know, ask me how full I was. 
And I don't know how to answer that. Um, I don't know, maybe like 80? 80? 80%? Maybe. Oh. 90? I don't know. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Because, like, I'm, I feel very full. Mm. You know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta, oh. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get oh. belly on. But, I mean, this was freaking, it was, it was delicious though. Oh, I right, one more kiss, Chad. Yes. Yeah. Are there many food challenges in America like this? Mm. No. So, when it comes to like Japanese curries and udon challenges, so I've done, I've done almost 700 food challenges. Mm. And I've only ever done one other Japanese curry challenge. Mm. And it's not because I didn't want to, they just aren't available. You know what I mean? So I think to come over here, you know, to Korea and do a, you know, like udon and curry rice challenge, it's not only delicious, but I really enjoyed it because it's very special for me. Mm -hmm. Is it popular over here, this kind of challenge? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think it's like, you know, we're, in America, it's a lot more like, Burgers, oh. hamburgers, French fries. Um, you know, it's not a lot of rice and or noodle dishes. And if it's noodles, maybe some ramen ones, but never like this. With curry, ah. this is, that's what you want right there. You need some curry, uh, some curry action. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. No, thank you, my friend. So, yeah, huge thanks to everybody here at Abiko Curry, guys. This was delicious. We're here in Gagnam. We use like Gagnam style. Oh, but God! No. <laughs> wow! Wow! I got it! I got it! I got it! That was back in the. That was, that was back in the day. That was good. That was good. But um, yeah, delicious. So for that, I guess we do not only win a prize, the cash prize, everybody, we get a freaking donate to charity. So that is so 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 cool. So I'm super. Oh, look at this! Yeah, let's see it. Look at it. Wow! I didn't know. Oh, thank this. you. They printed out things for us. Holy jumpets! Ah, 잠시만. 말 끊어서 정말 미안한데 얘 어디까지 번역하는 거야? Yeah. Wow. Sorry, Sorry that was long. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's uh, this 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 phone was translator. Uh, yeah. Keep 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 going. Yeah. It, kept, it kept going even when I was just rambling on. But wow, this is so cool. Well, thank you so much. And the ah, staff have been fantastic and so friendly. Awesome. 감사합니다. Ah. Well, you know, thank you, my friend. This ah. was amazing. You know, so much food, but great people. Thank you again for meeting up to do this mm. amazing challenge. And this is so cool. I'm, 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 I'm touched, everybody. I'm touched by the people in Korea. I feel so blessed. <laughs> um, at that, how full are you, my friend? How much are you? Maybe 16? 60? Yeah. Or 16? Yeah, 16. 16. 16. Uh, 60. 60. 60. Holy jump, so this guy can keep eating for days by the sound. So who knows, maybe we'll have to get him some more food here momentarily. But uh, at that, I got no complaints. So again, Abiko Curry, this was awesome. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we got our first food challenge win and attempt in Korea today. Beautiful city of Seoul, even if it's very cold out today. Uh, but it has soul. I feel that's, I feel like this place has soul. Yeah. This kind of soul. Mm -hmm. you know, so, and that everyone, of course, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Have a I gotta, day. Yeah, I gotta catch a plane. <laughs> yeah. Have a lovely day. How do you say thank you again in Korean? Koma wayo. Koma wayo? Come on, come on, wild. And 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Yeah, 감사합니다. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you. And how do you say goodbye in Korean? Uh, 안녕. 안녕. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah. Uh, All right, now we've really made it into Seoul, South Korea. Um, so yeah, we're heading to the Gwangjang Market. I believe that's what it's called. And man, there's, this is cool already. All right, these are my first impressions, everybody. But yeah, the only crazy or like so different thing is I'm used to being places where it's different like native languages, but I'm not used to seeing a different alphabet. So super cool. This smells great. I don't know if this is officially the Gwangjang Market, 
but the Guangzhou market is known for like a big street food destination. Um, obviously, this is really early in the morning. I don't expect too much to be open. But yeah, I think it's this right here, which is freaking awesome. So let's have us peek what it has. As we're doing a massive challenge in a couple hours, not really gonna be eating, but uh, the smells, look at this, yeah, see. We got like pork patties and stuff being made. This is, heck yeah. All right, I'll show you what we have here, but. Oh, it smells so good. I smell some kind of chicken somewhere. This looks great. All right, I'm just gonna start showing you. Here we got something with like some kind of curry, which looks amazing. Oh, here we go. Fried tiki baki, something like that. Of course, we have a whole bunch of different candies, gums, all that good stuff. We have little stores. Here we got like eggs. Uh, these are people who have some dried fish. They're gonna have some meats here in a bit. Man, yeah, there's just loads, of, like aisles and aisles of stores, but these people sell like dried goods. Um, obviously some like vitamins, even that's got some spam, some spam. Dried strawberries, freeze dried strawberries. Everybody's just kind of opening up for the day. So all kinds of goodies. Again, a lot of these would be like food vendors, probably open a little later. But as we uh, look around, definitely some people got some things open again, like these little same patty things that the lady had. And oh yes, here we go. It is getting, we're getting into the heat of it. Oh, look at this guys. Here we got some seafood, got some prawns, different fishes and dishes, crabs. Not even sure what all this is, but those cool little chili crabs. Man, it looks delicious. And luckily, we got some names here some red pepper kimchi. So it's literally like peppers, dried radishes, pollock roe, pollock. I don't know. I might like this. Looks delicious. This is like just straight up peppers. I kind of want to eat that. Wow. Like, yeah, this looks so good. Here you got salt fermented baby squids. This is a shrimp in uh, soy sauce. Some kind of like an oyster or clam. Again, that's the chili crabs. Wow, looking great. Yeah, this looks so good. I wanna take some of this stuff to, I wanna take this stuff to go. I wanna eat it now. So I went to another convenience store and what they had was they had a Fanta Zero pineapple. So of course we're gonna try that. So believe it or not, Crush actually makes a pineapple in very select markets. Um, and it's pretty good. Otherwise I've tried another pineapple juice or, or soda or two, I've never been fans, but let's see what this uh, Fanta Zero pineapple is about. Ooh, you know what? Okay, this is coming from a guy who loves sweet stuff. It is incredibly sweet. Oh my gosh. Like, think like a normal Fanta soda being like a, you know, eight out of 10 sweet. This is like a 12, but it's very good. It tastes fake, but it's very good. Hi everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.